Hey, it's Brickzar. Welcome to Brickzar Toys. In this video, we're going to be looking at a Doctor Who TARDIS dematerializing mini set by Character Building, which is a clone brick, we like to call it. CB, clone brick. <laughs> uh, it is this little Doctor Who dematerializing TARDIS, or Wonder Woman's TARDIS, the invisible TARDIS. So this is, actually this, there's the front door, a neat little set because it comes with Amy Pond and the 11th Doctor, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, overall, I like the look of it, but I will say that I was a little disappointed because this thing broke before I finished building it. There's these little tabs on these doors and that door, the top hinge part broke off. And now it, it leans in. So that thing, it, it, and I'm going to break the bottom one now. I'm trying to straighten this thing up. So we'll do it kind of like that. got to be very gentle. The little tabs on the end of these little trans clear doors are not very good. But they got little stickers that go here along the top to make the little windows of the TARDIS. Uh, they did have a sticker sheet, and I think there's some extra stickers there. And I almost thought about just keeping the stickers and using them on Lego pieces <laughs> instead of the character building. But I said, well, maybe I can find another one, because maybe use the police box sticker. I don't know if you can see it there. And then the little stickers for the door. So you got an extra police box, an extra door sticker, an extra window, so I could at least make the front door um, out of Lego. Although I don't know if i got a trans clear Lego door to do that. So let's look at these minifigures a little closer. Here is Amy Pond. There is the back of her. This little skirt is actually an extra piece. And here comes the 11th Doctor. He reminds me of Elvis. He's got his sonic screwdriver and he falls over. Uh, they, they're not very poseable. You can move their arms, but their legs are kind of fitting it fixed in that character builder mode there. Inside the TARDIS there is a little TARDIS uh, card. Let me take it out so you can see it. I, I'm afraid if I open this door again I'm going to break it. So there's your TARDIS interior. Awesome. It's an optional piece. You don't have to put it in if you don't want to. I actually think I like it better without the interior, so I just took it out. Here's the instruction manual, character building. I think it has the parts list in there. Uh, yeah, there's the parts list. So thanks for watching this video. The TARDIS is the time, relative, dimension, and space thingamabobber, and it looks like a wooden police box. That's for you who don't know anything about Doctor Who. That's what the box is. So, anyway, I did like Amy Pond in the series. I did like the 11th Doctor. I also like the 10th Doctor. But, what do you think of this TARDIS? This is the back of the box. This is the front of the box. Do you like these character building sets? Um, I kind of like them. It's just that they're just not as the quality of Lego, which I don't like. But... I'm glad Lego is about to give us some Doctor Who stuff. Looking forward to that. What about you? Tell me in the comments below. Are you looking forward to Lego? Did you like this character building stuff? At least maybe collecting the minifigures. We have reviewed a few others. I got a, another set I haven't reviewed yet. But anyway, thought I'd show you this one. Thanks for watching. You've been watching Briggs R Toys. Please subscribe. It makes me happy when you subscribe. Did that be good? The force flows through you. All right. Bye, Yoda. Good night.